In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create an image that follows a player when they are moving around. So to start off, you want to come down to your content drawer and you want to import your graphic. Now I've already imported it. It's the buy dropper $100. Now you may see this red triangle at the top left. All you got to do to get rid of that is simply right click on it and click conform texture. Now, if that doesn't work, go back up, right click, do texture source, reduce size. Okay and then click conform texture again. Now you can see the red triangle is now gone. Now, if there was no red triangle up in the top left, just ignore what I just did, but simply come to your graphic, right click on it, create material. I'm gonna call it dropper graphic, and then I'm going to double click on it. So I actually wanna get rid of this black background because this image is a PNG. So I'm simply gonna come down to blood mode Click on it and click translucent. Once I've done that, I'm going to come up to A and drag it over opacity. Now you can see the black background is now gone and the material is now translucent. Next, you're going to come back, click on your graphic here on the right and look up Naya. And you're going to check all three of these boxes. Come up to the top left, click apply and then come down the bottom right and save. Once you've done that, you can simply come up to the top right and close it. Go back to your content drawer, right click, go to FX, and go to Niagara System. Now the system we're looking for is the single looping particle, this one right here. So you're going to click on it, click create. I'm going to name it Dropper FX. I'm going to double click on it to open it up. Now you can see our material is right here, but it's just this white ball. So you simply just want to click on this right here. Scroll down until you find that material, which is right here. Then you're just going to find your material. Mine's at the top. Put it down. And just like that, the material's in there. Now to change the size of it, you can come up to, let me find the setting, sorry. The uniform sprite size. And I'm going to make it 150 to start off just to see how it looks. Let's go with this for now. I'm going to compile and save at the bottom right and then exit. Go down to the bottom left to your content drawer, look up VFX. It should be one of the last things to pop up, the VFX spawner. Drag it out onto your island. Come down to custom visual effect override. Check it. Go into here and put in your dropper FX. Now you can see whenever I move my camera, the image faces the player. Now if this is too big or too small for you, remember, you can just go back to your Niagara device. Go back to your content drawer. Double click on whatever you named it. Go here, go to the uniform sprite size right here and change it. I'm gonna just put it up to 200 for now. Make sure to compile and then save at the bottom right if needed. Now I'm gonna go in game and show you guys how it looks. Now while I'm loading into the game, come back down to your content drawer and go back to your Niagara device. Click on the single looping particle and you wanna find fixed bounds right here. Now you can see the min is negative 100 and the max is 100. You want to put negative as high as you can. So I'm gonna do like negative one and a million zeros, and then just simply copy and paste it into all the mins, and then do the same thing for the max, but instead of negatives, do positives. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of zeros, copy this, paste, paste, come up to the top left, compile, and save it. Now what this does is if a player walks away, it won't actually disappear, it will still be rendered, and when they go back, it will not have disappeared. Now, even though I did make the bounds bigger and smaller, sometimes the graphic still disappears when the player looks away from it or just walks far away. Now, the way you can fix this is just go into your content drawer, look up timer, drag it out. That is not the correct thing. Timer right here. Just put it to one second. Start at game start. Can interact no. Completion behavior, restart, visible in game, hidden. Show on HUD, no. Audio effects, no. And all you gotta do is come to your VFX spawner. Click the plus, restart. Grab the pick actor from scene. Pick timer device on success and save at the bottom right. Now what this does is that every time the timer succeeds, this graphic will restart on timer success. Now we are in game and you can see that the text is following me wherever I move around. 
even when I jump, it's following me. When I look away and look back, it is still there. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on what tutorial you'd like to see next. Also, please make sure to join my Discord. The link to that is down in the description. It'll be really appreciated. I've also just created a Patreon. If you guys would like to support me as I do make these tutorials for free, it'd be really appreciated, but is not mandatory. You can also join my Patreon as a free member, so that's an option as well. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.